Oz of Gene Book Nerd. We're here at the premiere of In the Tub Volume 2 by TJ Scott. We're going to meet some awesome people, maybe get an interview or two in with TJ himself. And uh, hope you have a good time, so you know we are. My name is Jade. Hi, Jade. Kim Collins. Kim Collins, nice to meet you. Lovely dress. And Scott Collins. Scott, nice to meet you. So I hear you are uh, musicians from Nashville. Yeah. So welcome. Uh, what kind of music do you play? Rock and roll. Oh, so yeah. you're from like the authentic Nashville yeah. rock and roll yeah. scene. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> so I did hear that you were a good resident of Survivor. I am. So this is a project here in June. I want to congratulate you. Congratulations on being a creation. Amazing. Um, so uh, can you explain to me like, what the experience was like shooting for this project? It being so near and dear to you. Well, it was the first year I was fighting cancer and I was doing it holistically. And I uh, avoided chemo and radiation and all that. So, and I'm in your body. So the first year, was, I was just super, super healthy, raw diet, feeling good. My body actually looked better than it ever had, and I was going through cancer. So I felt really empowered by it, which like you asked me to do. I thought, I can't pass that, because it's a good cause, and I know it's scary to his cause. So, um, so it was fun, and then when he was... I can't do buddy through it all. So now we got me so, to milk too. So. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Is that one to normally do that? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, you have to for this cause. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. So, what was the experience like as a couple then? You know, kind of going through this whole tub experience? Because it's a very vulnerable, intimate experience. You know, kind of stripping down a kind of chemical thing. Before the camera, that's one of the loveliest things of all evening. 
Um, so, so the show that I was on at that time, Spartacus, we were pretty much half naked the entire time anyway, so I, I was fairly used to it, you actually were really shaved, you know, fake tan, all that sort of stuff, so the self-conscious nature you know, wasn't as much there, and TJ was professional, he was fantastic, um, and I don't know, you just kind of forget what you're doing, just do it, like, uh, fall into the vulnerability of uh, being completely naked in a professional uh, setting, and know what you're doing and um, that's how it works. Yeah. Oh, we look forward to seeing you guys again. Thank you so much for picking the numbers because my work will be very nice. And then to see his photography take off like this, and then the level at which he does things, I mean, like the who's who are here, he's got the red carpet, he's got everything going on, and he's doing this for breast cancer, to honor his mom, so, um, yeah, it's a beautiful call. I'm excited to be here, and glad you guys are sharing it, too. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so, um, are you involved with Volume 1 as well? I was. I was in Volume 1, the special edition, and Volume 2, and I have, I think, three photos in each book. So I feel really lucky. I don't know how that happened. I don't know. Well, I'm sure they came out beautifully. I'm really, well, there's no picture you can do with TJ that doesn't come out spectacularly well. Yeah. If you're not feeling good about yourself, go shoot with TJ. <laughs> and uh, was there a difference in experience between shooting the first volume and the second one? Yes, there was. Um, I always feel like the second time I shoot with a photographer, I'm so much more bold and daring and relaxed. And exactly. it always comes out better. I don't know why. but oh, So that must, yeah. you must be really excited for volume two. I am. I think it's really special. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. I've been waiting a long time for this. I'm glad today is here. I know. I'm yeah. Are I you just in it too? I am not. I wish not I yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Volume three, everybody. Volume three. We'll be in it. <laughs> Beautiful. And uh, where can our viewers find you? Uh, you know what? Uh, so I'm just about to shoot Secrets of the Russian Tea Room. So definitely go for that. I can't say who the huge A-lister that I'm um, working with is. I'm not allowed to say it, but... <laughs> She's so, huge, she's out like there, and um, she's all everyone talks about right now, so I'm really excited about her. Yeah. Well, that's lovely. Thank you so yeah, much sure for being with us tonight. Have a great night. Thank, Thank you so much. Hi. My name is Jane. Vanessa. Hi. Vanessa. Hi. Hi. Okay, so. Um, Excuse me, sweating wire. Oh, no worries. Oh, yeah. You, you look great. Don't worry about it. Thank you. You're listening. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, we're here with Jean Booker. It's a book vlog. And um, if you could just go ahead and explain to our lovely viewers what your involvement in the time Oh, well, I was involved in Volume 1 and Volume 2 of In the Tub. Uh, my mother also passed away from breast cancer, so it's very personal for me as well. Um, I worked with TJ on Spartacus, the TV series that was shot in New Zealand for stars, um, so I was already friends with him. Uh, when the first Volume 1 came out, uh, was coming out, I actually came over with a friend who was doing a photo shoot, and myself and another friend came to support, and ultimately all three of us got in the tub, so in Volume wow. 1 there's a photo of all three of us in the bathtub at the same time, which is yeah, a pretty pretty good shot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> and then in uh, Volume 2 I have a picture in the regular one and also the special edition. So, um, so yeah, it got, it, you know, it was one of those things that TJ made you feel so comfortable when you're doing a shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you know, I saw my mother who had lost a breast to breast cancer, so I saw her before she passed away with breasts removed and stuff. And I kind of decided that I'm only going to have my body for a certain period of time, and um, if I'm going to show it off a little bit, I might as well be for a good There you go. I love that. That's wonderful. So do you do any activism for breast cancer outside of the book? Um, I haven't done since I moved over here to America. Um, I just got my green card, so I'm very excited. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome, Thank by the way. You. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so hopefully um, I'll be able to get more involved now that I'm going to be a permanent resident. So, so see what happens. What are you working on over here now? Um, I'm, I'm working on getting work. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, did, I did a few things since I came here on a work visa, but um, it was a bit of a process getting the green card. So right now, I literally only got it about two weeks ago. So now um, we'll see what happens when pilot season comes around. Okay, so you're an actress. Do you and know as well? no stunt performer as well as an actor. Yes. So yeah, so I bounce. Okay, so I have to ask then. Um, I'm part of the stunt world as well. 
What advice would you give out to young aspiring stunt women just going into the industry? Um, I know people always say you want to get hard and you want to, you know, toughen up and all that sort of stuff. Yes, it definitely does help, but training skills uh, are probably predominantly the main thing that you want to do is to be well trained because we all know that it's going to hurt when you land. It's just ideally you don't want it to injure anything. So hurting, as long as you're okay with it hurting a little, um, then then you're going to be fine. It's, it's the reality of it. But then if you do proper training and you know how to fall properly and um, and your skills are really good so you don't actually knock someone out um, <laughs> or know how to avoid one when it's coming in, then you know, training is really key to everything. Jason, how are you doing? Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's have a lovely day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Jade, how are you doing? Good. Nice to meet you, Jason. We're here with uh, Gene Bookner. We're at the In the Tub Volume 2 premiere. And uh, Jason, what did you do for Volume 2? Um, volume 2, I was posing in the tub with my big cigar and just having a great time. Uh, I must say, TJ runs a mean bar. It really does. That's what I, I yeah. keep hearing that. No, I, I, I didn't want to leave. Once you get in the bath and you just go, yeah. You stay here, you Yeah, no, you just, you just go, TJ. Just leave me here, I'll be okay. Ah, okay. And yeah, it, um, explain what that experience was like, stripping down, getting your new job and your cigar. Well, to be honest, I mean, we were, we shot these shots when we was uh, shooting Spartacus down in, uh, down in beautiful New Zealand. Um, so most of the time with Spartacus, we was naked anyway. So <laughs> it just, it was natural. It was, yeah, it was natural. So by, by the time we came to these shots in the tub, we was, we was quite happy. We were just, you know, wandering around naked. Lovely. <laughs> we, oh, didn't, sure. we didn't wear much anyway, you know. Got it. Bit of a sword, bit of a, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, so you've done some work on Spartacus. And yes. uh, is there anything else that you're working on right now? Like uh, uh, there's not, not there's some, uh, things possibly coming up in the pipeline, but nothing right at the moment. A uh, bit of a free time, so I'm just relaxing, Good. enjoying the California sun because it, it's, <laughs> it's taking life because it's snowing in England, so it's lovely to be here, Aww. just enjoying the sunshine and having a great time. Lovely. And with this fantastic event for a great cause, it's a privilege to be involved with. Absolutely. Hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very Jason. much. Nice you to meet you. I will try. For you, I will try. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Jane. Jane? Yeah. I'm Trina. Hi, Trina. Trina? Yes. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so we're here with Jean Bookner for a book vlog. Um, so, Trina, go ahead and explain to the camera uh, what your involvement in the In the Tub series is. Okay, well, I'm actually not specifically, oh, here we are, I'm not specifically involved with this, but um, I'm out in L.A. doing uh, some interviews about a series, Godless, that I'm uh, part of, and my publishers told me about this event, and I have had so many friends who either have been battling breast cancer or who currently are, and when you told me about it, it was something that I feel very passionate about and something that I really wanted to come and support. Wonderful. Okay, so you have a passion about breast cancer. It's near and dear to your heart. Very much. Oh, so very it's much. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Yes, it is. Um, have you gotten a chance to thumb through the uh, volume two? Yet? Just a little bit. And Just a little think? bit. It's beautiful. Um, and as a matter of fact, when I'm done talking with you guys, I'm going to see if I can't get my hand on it. And wow. then, yeah. There we go. Take a look. Would you ever? Be in an Indian temple? Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, like definitely. Definitely. Good for you. I yeah. like how enthusiastic yes. you are. Like, not even think about <laughs> it. Like, no, not even. Yeah. 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 Well, beautiful. So, uh, where can our viewers find you? On social media. Well, okay. So you're gonna have to have a little bit of patience with me because uh, I'm just setting up a Twitter account uh, under Trina Christensen. Uh, well, let's see. T R I N E two zero six eight. I think is, is the name. Okay. So I'm just learning that these are the things that I have to do out here. Other than that, I have a Facebook. No, you can't frame me on that. Sorry, that's sort of friends and family. Of course. I'm on Instagram. I'm about to be opening a, uh, a Twitter account. You can watch me on Godless, which you should be watching anyway. It's a new Netflix series. It's absolutely fantastic. And uh, in December, also on the NBC series The Brave, which oh. is also wonderful. So, please watch. We'll look at the for you, Trina. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was lovely meeting you. It was lovely meeting you as well. Good luck getting the book. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. So we're here with Jean Booker, the R of Book blog. And first question, before I ask anything, I have to ask, where did you get this beautiful outfit you have on? I'm obsessed. Jane Doe Leta. She's a good friend of mine. She designs for Kat Von D, Marilyn Manson. She is incredible, and she does things that feel couture, but okay. still edgy. So I really, I adore her. And she's based in Hollywood. 
And latex, that's, that's yeah. so comfortable and nice. Once you get it on, it's comfortable. Yeah, it takes exactly. A little, it takes a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Wonderful. You do a dance, you get in, you're like, you know what, I can breathe. Yeah. yeah. I've had some experience. It's interesting. It's definitely an interesting experience. Yeah. Well, wonderful. Um, so what was your involvement in the, in the Cup Series? I was actually in the book, so. Wow. Yeah, I was first new shoot in a tub. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. It's a little nerve-wracking, but TJ's amazing. He's, yeah. He's great at what he does. He's an incredible person. I'm really excited to be here and support the cause, not only like artistically, but for cancer awareness. Absolutely. So what was that process then like, if this was your first nude shoot and it's going in a hardcover book that is going to be on someone's table, what was that like for you? It was a lot of me mentally being like, this is for the good of people exactly. and for awareness. And I will put my insecurities aside because whatever happens will be beautiful. Yeah, and exactly. People will appreciate it for the purpose. Exactly. And I'm sure you came out beautifully. Um, wonderful. Yeah, I, I was very excited. Yeah. So, um, what else do you do besides modeling? Um, I'm a photographer, creative oh, director, graphic designer, and I'm based out of Seattle. So, cool. I'm usually in LA a lot working with a lot of like really cool people. But based in stormy Seattle. Oh, it's beautiful out there. I'll yeah. Are there any projects you're engaged in right now? That you They're very excited? secret. I was gonna say probably yeah. top secret though. NDs. They're a, they're a real thing. Exciting projects happening. Well, good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And then, uh, where can we find you on the internet? Instagram is where all of my creative explosions happen. So, Ashley and Jonkis. Okay. On the photography, on my adventures, travel, everything. Well, we'll be sure to stalk you then. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank I love you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Elizabeth, I'm Jane Kim. Welcome. Um, this is our channel. This is Team Booker. So we are a book review. So really quick, can you tell us um, what are you going to be doing? What did you do? And uh, kind of explain like your process of getting on board with me in the tub series. Oh, I was actually invited here by your friend of mine, James Dumont. Um, yes. Awesome. But I actually uh, had my brother, my grandmother, who passed away from cancer. So it's a little bit okay. It's a while ago. But um, I think it's really a wonderful thing that he's made this book and he's creating awareness um, of breast cancer and just cancer in general because it's something that I think touches every yes, absolutely. And that's beautiful. It's an amazing book. Uh, it, 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 yeah, wow. You know, I have a big mouth and I like to talk. So when you tell me I can't say shit for 10 months, it's very hard for me. Especially when I had so much fun on the show and I know how popular it was. No, this is my first involvement here. But when it came out, like I had so many people. So um, what do you like do? That first one, you know, because they released the whole season. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, I was you know, just like, blew up. Everybody I'm an actress, like, and I am like, like a series yeah. regular on the show. Then, I got to keep on that show. So it's a hard, it's a hard one. Now the show got inspired then, uh, what inspiration uh, messages can you give us? Urban Movie Channel, which is kind of like Netflix, but it was uh, founded by the man who founded GET. Oh, okay, streaming, streaming channel. Wonderful. Uh, be excellent at what you do. Thank there's, you there's, so there's, much. there's a difference between That's excellence and success. Uh, People think success and excellence are the same thing. Hey, how are you, James? My name's Jade Kim. Nice to meet you, Jade. We're here with Gene Buchner. Hey, Gene. Book blog. All right, book blog. We're blogging. Yeah, we're blogging books, yo. We're blogging right now. Yeah. Yeah, technology. Yeah, you know, remember a book? Like, it's not in the phone. I honestly, phones. before my time, I, I yeah, remember books. I remember you know? books. It's yeah. all good. But I know what these things are. Yes, like that, yes, there could be a book. There's like this. It's a yeah, it's photo book. Oh, got it. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, so um, you recently worked on Stranger Things 2. I did. And uh, how epic was that experience? Which, by the way, congratulations. Thank you. Season 2 was just yeah. mind-blowingly amazing. Yeah, so, and season 3 will be more interesting, but I can't tell you anything. Oh, my. So you already know that. <laughs> I don't know. He I cannot confirm, confirm or deny or anything. Got it. How's okay, that? Wonderful. Nice then, huh? Is that a good way to do it? Yeah, I think so. Anyways, go around it. Yeah. But no, so. we, it's amazing to me because like the, uh, the secrecy of it, uh, I had to keep my mouth shut for 10 months, which for a guy like me is very difficult. <laughs> really? Um, well, because I'm like, you know, you work so hard to get these jobs and then you're like, no, I nailed a really cool one and it looks like it could be something bigger. And, yeah. and then all of a sudden they're like, no, you can't say anything and you have to sign this and exactly. if you do this, you sign this. And so then I just had to keep my mouth shut for 10 months. So and so the premiere and you're just like, okay, no, well, then, about then it. Well, then the best part about Netflix is they did release the whole season. So everybody's like, the, the minute it came out, it was like, 
I had people who were like binge watching for the, yeah. that whole weekend, and I was like, oh yes, this is great. Guilty. All of a sudden, I'm like, man, man, my Twitter page is like blowing up. Look at you. Yeah, it was great. It was great. Congratulations. Thank you. It was amazing. Yeah. So, um, explain how did you get involved with the In the Tub series? Uh, I actually have the first book I bought as a, a gift to my agent. Okay. And I know TJ's work in terms of photography is an amazing photographer. Absolutely. I like that. I like this this image of you know our bodies and you know private time in the tub. That's kind of like that's our little. It's our little time. You know, little like me time. Well, yeah, because it's like you know. I always say I would say to like I have a lot of students and I talk about like you know there's times when you're alone. That's. When there's no phones and no nothing, that's a good that's a good little me time. And, it's and the bath is usually the thing. When I lived in New York and I was alone, I was like, man, I, I like I work hard. I'm working 14 hour days on the show, and I was like, I got that bath waiting for me. Today I'm in Santa Monica, my sister's house, and I tell somebody to turn the spa on. There so you I, go. I have a spa waiting for me. Are you so a bath bomb? Man? I am a bath bomb guy, but I got you got to wear some of the bath bombs. So you got to watch it. Like, a little ring in the tub. You're a little itchy for a while. A weird rash. It smells good, but you're like, man, I don't know. What, Bathing in chemicals. What, 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 I didn't look at the ingredients. You know? <laughs> it's like certain foods I look, but yes. I, I'm not looking at a bath bomb going, you know, is this going to mess me up later? Exactly. Why am I ticking? What's up with that? Seriously. Uh, yeah, sorry. Like my skin melts off. Yeah, exactly. Why have this rash for three days? We, we don't want to get into that. We want to. We want to read this it's book. A show about rashes and, now. That's right. We, we've, we've gone full circle in a yes. bad way. But um, no. So and then the other thing is the combination of like the photographs and that that um, kind of tying in art, artistic and and also for good cause. I think there's yes. that there's that you know I used to say to friends when we were doing a business it was like doing good and doing well. You're doing a good thing, but you're, you're doing well, but then you're doing a good thing for everybody in that kind of regard. So it's like you know. That, that, that's a kind of a great combination that I'm, that I'm, that's why I'm here, you know. I mean, I'm in time for work, but it's also, you know, I'm happy to be here. So yeah. yeah. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you so much. Games. Pleasure. So nice to meet you. Read more books. Yes. I do. Figure out what books I are. read scripts, but, but, I, but, I, but I have books. I have to buy my bed. Oh, nice yes. Yes. Nice to meet you, TJ. First of all, I want to thank you for the amazing work that you've done and that you're doing. So congratulations on the successful launch of In the Tub Volume And uh, I must ask, uh, what was the um, big kind of growth between Volume 1 and Volume 2? What were the big lessons learned from the first issue um, that impacted the second? Well, the, the fun thing was that I shot almost everybody that I knew in the first one, yes. and Volume 2 was all people handing off their friends and saying, you need to do it, and I would get calls from actresses and stuff. So kind of what I learned was that, you know, uh, people want to help. Yes. People want to take an hour out of their super busy schedules and do a shoot and try and raise money. So it's, there's a lot of people that are behind this book. It's not just me. Yeah, no, you've developed a lovely team. Every person I've spoken to thus far cannot stop raving about how lovely it was shooting with you, how comfortable you made them. And I was going to ask, now, was that a bit of a learning curve for you, or did you already kind of know how to make people comfortable naked in front of a camera. I, I don't know. I think I just have a talent for it. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, the, the thing is, when I see someone naked, I don't see a naked person. I see the photo that I'm after. And I just see form and figure and beauty. And I just want to figure out the best way to capture it. And that's it. A lot of the time, it's like, hi, how are you? Take your clothes off. Let's shoot. But uh, it, it's really fun that way. <laughs> And so I have to ask, uh, what's next after Inga Tuck Volume 2 in terms of your activism with the breast cancer community? We'll, we'll see how this goes and I'll just keep promoting this and we'll see if there's a Volume 3. It <laughs> well, <laughs> takes two and a half years to shoot one of these books, so yes. it's not overnight. Well, I have my fingers crossed, absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us, DJ. Love meeting you. Thanks again. Thank you.